Shalom family. I just wanted to be obedient, do a video on a break, humility. Uh, the Most High has been dealing with us regarding he that has an ear to hear. Um, and one of the things Yahuwah showed me is that the people that actually hear the word of Yahuwah and internalize it, that are able to produce fruit, are people that walk in humility, walk in meekness, right? They don't walk in pride. So they can actually hear what Yahuwah is saying and apply it to their scenario, right? Apply it to their daily walk. Um, the word, the ancient Hebrew word for humble would be, you know, or, or meekness would be the word anal, ayin, noon, wa, right? Ayin, I, see experience, noon, see fish, life, and then um, wa, tent peg, right? Um, so when you put those three letters together, it's the idea of the person that is seeing and experiencing the seed of Yahuwah, which is his word. It's firmly fastened, right? Firmly fastened, you know, faith, tent peg. They, they walk in a higher level of faith because they're more focused on what Yahuwah is telling them to do, what he's speaking to them, right? Now, um, a good example of when a nation comes together, right, to walk in humility, right, would be the uh, Yom Kippur, right? Literally, that means to... We afflict ourselves. We afflict our souls. So that's another uh, thing that you'll see mentioned along with this definition of having a close for watch of something, right? With anal would be to afflict oneself or the, to depress oneself. And we know that the entire nation, we come together having a close watch over what? Over the atonement that Yahuwah has provided for us through Yahushua Hamashiach, our high priest, right? We know that that's the feast leading into Sukkot, but Everybody in the nation is doing what? Keeping a close watch over what we've been told from Leviticus 23 and, and several other scripts, right? Um, Leviticus 23, Leviticus 16 talks about it. So I'm just saying all these things to say that the people who actually walk regularly, not just on Yom Kippur, right? But regularly walk in humility are more prone to being successful in the things of the Ruach because Yahuwah does what? He resists the proud and exalts the humble, right? That's why we got to be careful when it comes to covenant gifts, covenant offices, covenant assignments that Yahuwah has given us. Because it's a lot of people, I'm going to just be real. It's a lot of people in Yasharil that's doing what they want to do, but they're not inquiring Yahuwah on these things. They're just like, oh, okay, I know who we are as the people. I got the knowledge, so I'm going to just go do this. I'm going to go make these videos. I'm going to go start up this ministry, but Yahuwah has not spoken to them. And told them to do these things. The act of doing these things is prideful because why? We don't. We, we're not having a close watch over the kingdom. Yahuwah may want you to do something completely different. Yahuwah may want you to invest in the yellow dean, right? He may want you to do certain things regarding the, the the safety and protection of his people in the end time. That might be your assignment. But instead of you focusing on what Yahuwah has called you to do, you're gonna go and do what you want to do. That's pride. That's the opposite of being humble or meek, because when you're humble or meek, you have a close, careful watch over the seed that you has planted in you. Right. So I'm saying all this to say that, you know, we got to lose the Western mindset of what humility is. Being humble does not mean that you're weak. Mashiach was not weak. Moshe was not weak. <laughs> None of the prophets was weak. Right. They were humble. They were meek. Right. Mashiach out of his own mouth said the meek shall inherit the earth. That literally means that those that have a close watch over what Yahuwah has spoken and given them. Right. Yahuwah is going to exalt them to, to, to positions in the kingdom. Right. They're going to inherit the earth. They're going to inherit New Jerusalem. They're going to inherit offices and assignments. They're going to be a part of the government. They're going to be a part of the 144. These people that are meek. Why? Because to them, nothing else matters to them. The main thing that they focused on is what Yahuwah told them. The main thing that they're focused on is their assignment, right? So we got to be more careful to hear. Slow to speak, careful to hear, right? Because the prideful person, again, Yahuwah resists the prideful person and he exalts the humble, right? He sets them up in positions that they might not even desire. I'm going to give you an example of this. Dawid never desired to be king of Yasharel. He never desired it. He wanted to, he, he was cool watching the sheep. He was cool, <laughs> right? 
tending to the sheep, tending to his father's sheep. But guess what? Yahuwah looked down and he saw how focused he was on doing that. And Yahuwah was able to see the heart of Dawid. He was able to see that Dawid was a man after his own heart. See, that's, and I know that this is the Ruach, because a lot of us, man, we're not focused on what Yahuwah already told us to do. A lot of us, we're not satisfied with what Yahuwah has given us. Therefore, Yahuwah is like, oh, okay, you want to be prideful and not receive in joy and gladness the assignment that I've given you to do. Why would I give you another assignment? No. That's why Mashiach says, even, you know, the, 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 the wicked, the wicked and lazy servant, the talents that were given to him are taken away from him and he's cast in the outer darkness. Why? Because he was not faithful. He was not keeping a close eye, a close watch over that which was given to him. Therefore, he didn't produce fruit. We want to really stop walking in dead works. We got to become humble. We got to humble ourselves. We have to have an ear to hear what the Ruach of Yahuwah is telling us to do and actually do it. Because it's going to come a time period, y'all. I'm going just, I'm to just be real. It's, it's going to come a time period where Yahuwah is going to stop giving words. And you'll be held accountable for the word that he been gave you. But because you didn't do it, now you, you, you're, you're standing in the judgment. Now, now you're, you're on the verge of being destroyed by Yahuwah. Because the things he told you to do, you did not keep a close watch over. You didn't keep a careful eye on those things. Psalm 75 says that, you know, promotion does not come from the north, the south, the east or the west, but it comes from Yahuwah, comes from the most high. That literally means that people who are promoted in the kingdom, they must walk in this foundational characteristic of meekness and humility if they do desire to have any type of position in the kingdom. And I talk about this with the Gibberim all the time. But at the end of the day, if the Most High has given you a, a position of scrubbing toilets and floors in the kingdom, you better receive it with joy and gladness. Because it's, a lot of times what it is is Yahuwah will give us an assignment and, it, and it'll be a test to see where is your heart, right? Where is your heart in doing this? Are you gladfully doing these things? Can you carry out this assignment? Okay, if you can carry out this assignment, maybe I'll give you another assignment. But if you can't do this one, why would I why why would I give you another assignment when the first assignment I gave you, you 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 plundered it? Right? So again, we as 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 true Yasharel the Kwadesh on this Olam ancient path, we have to start inquiring Yahuwah for all things and start functioning. And as we function in those things, Yahuwah will begin to open up various positions and exalt people who have operated in meekness and in humility and joy and gladness not rebuttaling not complaining not always mad and coveting their brother or their sister's assignment most people again like i said with dawid dawid did not desire to be the king he didn't it was it was something that was given to him by yahuwah because yahuwah saw his faithfulness in tending the sheep Right. Yahuwah saw his faithfulness. Right. And it's that way with a lot of it's that way with a lot of people. Gideon. Right. He didn't desire to be one of the main prophets in Yasharel and one of the, you know, to, to lead and do all that stuff. But Yahuwah saw his faithfulness in working for his father and exalted him. Read Judges 6. So I'm saying all these things to say that those of us that desire to really serve Yahuwah, let's get our hearts right. Let's get our hearts meek and humble before Yahuwah. Let's desire to, to serve him first and foremost, no matter what he's telling us to do and be functional in the, the little things. Well, in, in our minds, they're little things, but there's nothing little to Yahuwah because everything is a test with him. But even if it's small in our eyes, it should be big, ruachally, because it's something Yahuwah has privileged you to do in his kingdom. It's a test. So my prayer is that we, 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 we pass the test by really understanding the anal, the heat, the, the meek, the humble, the humble Ruach Yahuwah desires for us to have. Because in the end, remember, he resists the pride, he resists the proudful, and he gives chin, he gives grace, he exalts the humble, the meek. And it's not by coincidence. Remember, nothing is random with Yahuwah. So if you're walking in pride, he's probably rejected you. That's why you don't have an ear to hear. But if you're walking in meekness, humility, you're producing fruit.
שלום.